Hey, hey guys. Well, today on How to Be a Woman, we're, we have a special guest, Nathan Deerdorf. Thank who's you. Going to, Thank you. Uh, it's, it's our pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. Well, um, today on the show, we are having Nathan show us a special skill that all women should know for marriage. So Nathan, what is this skill? Okay. Well, it's pretty important. I think every housewife needs it. I usually like to start out with what, what I call a virgin loaf. You can tell because the twist eye it hasn't been used. So this is the way you know it's fresh from the grocery store. It's, it's, everything's going to be neat. Now the first thing you do is you never want to use the heel. That's what you use for your kids or something like that. You just don't want to use the heel. Step parents you don't like. Okay. Yeah, step parents, family in law. Yourself. Yeah. Because you are a woman. I mean. We kind of have to eat the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I said, they have to eat the leftovers, and really anything can go on here. Basically, any food that's in the fridge you can stick between two buns. I see you. Why don't you just stir around in the fridge and find me something? Okay. Just average sandwich ingredients. Okay, average sandwich ingredients. Here we go. Bacon. You usually do not want to use this raw unless you hate your husband. Eggs, fried eggs. Fried egg, you can make a breakfast arrangement. Just roll those up and cook the bacon. Jelly. Not usually good with bacon or meat, but with peanut butter it goes quite well. Yogurt, it's unconventional, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> Orange juice on this side. Or even soak the bread in, marinate it. So that goes well. <laughs> yes. For dessert, you can just <laughs> make a chocolate sandwich. <laughs> I need, some real, I need some real supplies here. You're, you're not holding up. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this ham or turkey? I can never turkey. Turn. The turkey breast, yes. <laughs> and this is smoked beef. Roast beef. So, yeah. But yeah, peanut butter and peanut butter and chocolate would be good. I mean, it's good on other stuff, so I, I, I think a sandwich would be pretty good. And you can get all types of jams or jellies if you prefer jelly over a jam. Jif, mom's preferred. And yeah, you basically you need to take out two loaves. Like I said, not the heel. Just, just don't do the heel. And you lay them up flat, about inch, inch apart. I usually make them symmetrical, like that. And you just take whatever ingredients. So if I wanted to do, I would just do like that, only not really. I would take a knife, and I would unscrew this, and I would stick the knife in, and I'd stir it around and so wait, lather it. Some women may not know how to open up a you, can of This can cake. be difficult. Sometimes you do need to get your man to do it for you because you just have so much weakened scrawny arms. <laughs> I've run into that a lot. Oh, I've had to well, do it many times. I know, it's, it's definitely trying when you mm -hmm. try to watch a woman open up a pickle jar, can of smuckers. Mm -hmm. It's just it's embarrassing. A it's a pity. It's a pity. So yeah, you just you open it up by twisting it. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Yeah. Okay, that's good to remember. Always good to remember. Yeah. And then you just stick it in there and then lather it on. This is... I'm not really going to do it because... A man making a sandwich. This is just an instructional mm. video. Do you have any other questions, Brandon? Or... Um, I think that's all for now. Women, I hope you learned a lot today about making sandwiches. It's a pleasure to be here, Brandon. Oh, well, thank you, Nathan, so much for coming. Thank you. Here, you can have this. <gasps> Goodbye, everybody. Until next time. Just... Why do you keep doing that? It's probably my luck. 
See, now it's debatable whether this is a virgin loaf now that it's been touched or not. But I, I, <laughs> okay, yes. I, I, I am on the side of the camp that says this is still a virgin loaf because none have actually been taken out. And yeah, like they're back in there. So it's, they haven't been used or eaten. All right, well, thank you for tuning in, ladies, gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of How to Be a Woman. Tune in next week to find out how to have a good relationship with your husband while learning how to put the toilet seat down for yourself. <laughs>